Hello and welcome to another Mega to video. Today we're going to be doing another testing video. I know it's been the same format for almost a whole week now regarding Berserker and I've gotten a lot of feedback, a lot of comments uh, from you guys regarding, you know, trying this build out, trying that out, um, you know, make some few changes, see which one is better and try my build out. I really appreciate that you guys are sending them in and giving me feedback. Uh, there are some that uh, you know makes me question myself like why am I making these videos and why am I uh, being bothered by it but uh, we're gonna figure out and hopefully we can get some answer to that so starting off let's open up the comment section um, one of them was from Ace Cat. Uh, so for you, I am gonna try out one of the builds that you mentioned, see how it goes on the parsing. Uh, so that's gonna come up later on. Uh, another one from White Shadow two two six nine one. The actual top DPS or potential DPS comes from White Slash build with max bleeds and one point into blood pr uh, price. Test once more with that change worked for me. Really appreciate the positive feedback there. I mean, you are giving me some good information there to try out uh, and yes I do apologize if the previous video was a little bit more wonky and uh, didn't really fulfill the requirements or the you know the satisfaction for most of the viewers uh, I read up on uh, the discord channel uh, under the uh, berserker one for uh, the official one and people have done some testing for uh, blood price versus the bleed uh, so we're gonna try that out as well, uh, so I'll uh, showcase that. So thank you very much White Shadow for commenting about that. Um, yeah, so um, I, I believe I had another uh, build requested. So there's been one which says blood price, uh, uh, he doesn't spend any blood price and there's no spirit. Uh, and he's gone with uh, Void Slash. 10 Groundbreaker, 10 Warrior Instinct, 10 Graceful Mastery, and then 10 Bloodlust. Uh, he's been running it, he's been doing pretty well. Uh, says he has 24 mil, but like I said, it really depends on your party members, on your setup, on how well you're doing it. Um, I, I, I just don't like having two main skills in the same build because I can't decide myself when it comes to which one should I prioritize over the other one. I probably need a lot more practice doing that to switch between Void Slash and Groundbreaker. Uh, but yeah, that spin is not the optimal or the best, I would say, but it's there for me to you know feel a bit more secure. And uh, it's a fail-safe uh, move for me that I can rely on that than uh, using other skills that I'm not familiar with. Um, and going to the last comment, uh, or the last two few comments. So someone mentioned, uh, Grapes I believe, mentioned um, why other guides are prioritizing physical attack and total damage rather than uh, over physical piercing and is this the you know, Korean Mipaster 2 meta and such. Um, I brought this up in my previous video regarding uh, physical piercing and how it can be easily obtained if you do want to have an expiring item for example the dark descent gloves gives you 8% um, physical piercing so anything on your main weapon could be swapped out for any of those other stats um, physical piercing has a cap sort of according to people I'm just going off with the information I'm getting um, off the internet and people are saying that um, if you're fighting a highly resistant uh, boss then or a target, then yes, physical piercing would be beneficial. But if you're fighting ads or whatnot, uh, you, you usually kill them instantly. So having you know total damage, physical attack, or you know anything else would give you more damage to these type of enemies like the minions and ads. But for me, I feel like it's not so important because the most important part is you're doing chaos raids. So during case raids, you're going to have resistant bosses uh, having high value of defense and whatnot. Uh, physical piercing is going to be uh, important rather than going with physical attack or total damage at that point. But uh, you have to have some balance, of course. Remember, 
you have 10 to 15 percent physical piercing as a cap and then you focus the rest on other stats uh, you obviously need to have 30 percent piercing as well so remember that as well now for the last comment over here um, a bit rough uh, as a comment you know it's um, it's something I have to realize as well like I have to decide for myself which one I prefer most or not uh, I mean I did mention it's my own personal build I'm not I know the title can be a little bit more uh, clickbaity uh, regarding you know your final berserker build or whatnot it's not the best or whatnot it's just what works for me uh, I've seen a lot of people have different builds and obviously if you follow discord or reddit or you know all the theory crafting people then feel free to do that but uh, let's read it off uh, even if you use a breaker build, as in groundbreaker build, you never spin for spirit. Um, because you use spirit to spin and you'll be wasting that because you're not using your main DPS, which is the groundbreaker build. We're going to try that out as well uh, in this video. But uh, yeah, it does mention that blood loss at max rank every time because it has a high crit uh, and deals a lot of damage. Uh, you want to use auto hit instead of you know because uh, there's been some comments before asking me why are you using auto hit you're like I notice you're just spamming groundbreaker and you're using an auto hit in between and apparently from uh, John Kiba it says that uh, auto hit is better than wasting your spirit on um, on the uh, spinning part and for me yes uh, I am spinning on a dummy because. Um, I don't, I can't really put, reposition myself when I do these tests uh, because I'm afraid of hitting multiple targets after I reposition myself with cross slash. Uh, I know cross slash is better for you know filler uh, or yeah in general it's just better for filler because you're not wasting any spirit but you are using stamina to move around and to avoid mechanics and you can then groundbreak again afterwards because you're recovering up uh, 20 per second. So I'm not that far off when it comes to you know testing, but you know spinning is a filler whenever you are having a boss, for example, that you need to rotate around the boss because the knight doesn't have a shield up. Then yeah, you don't want to risk yourself using void slash or cross slash to cross between the boss in his hitbox because in case there's a weird mechanic such as fire dragon having you know the ground tail slam. Um, if you're inside a hitbox, you are gonna get hit no matter what. So trying to you know use the spin to be a little bit mobile to run or to grace around the boss, it's more how do you call it? It feels more fluent and it feels more smoother for me to you know just add a little bit spin into it. It doesn't you know affect you too much um, when it comes to as uh, a filler damage. Um, and it also looks a little bit more, as I said, looks more smoother when you do that in comparison to just auto hitting and looking like uh, you're hitting, you first, uh, you're having that heavy attacks and then you're having that weak auto attack because you're out of energy or something, you know. If the, I don't know. I guess it's more of the role playing part, I guess, if you think about it. Like you're supposed to be that super strong berserker and then suddenly you have out of energy and you're auto hitting for one second in between uh, because you need to rest. Um, it does mention over here, for example, on the uh, part, uh, the value of blood price is low and not worth going for it. Uh, this is also where it comes about uh, the topic about uh, having deep wounds maxed out instead of uh, blood price, uh, because uh, people have been testing out that um, the damage increase you get is not worth it, and the optimal for that is one blood price at least, and then the rest on the uh, deep wounds for the dots and I did mention about inhuman endurance that it's good for certain content and not for PvE so for inhuman endurance it's good for PvP if you want to survive longer uh, because you are gonna stay at low health at some point and then you can you know it makes some like you, you do get some reduction of from players um, you can survive with that you know it's clutch moments um, there's also for Dark Descent, that's also another thing I would like to 
comment about. If you are doing Dark Descent, you are having a different build. So having survivability could help you if you're low on health. I mean, you are chugging potions and whatnot, but Inhuman Endurance does make some uh, clutch moments as well. Um, but yeah, it's sad to see that you know some people are saying that oh, I won't share the build and you know they dislike the build. Uh, there are people that are agreeing. I don't know, it's up to you if you want to follow someone else. I mean, you can make a video yourself, or you can make, you know, or showcase it. Share some images. It would be really, I would appreciate it if you could share some images of your uh, parsing and maybe uh, a skill build for it so I can try it out and, you know, showcase it to everyone else on my video. Because I sent a reply back, I appreciate the feedback, I will try it out. Uh, I would like to ask if he's a Korean Maple Story 2 player veteran or Chinese Maple Story 2 veteran um, because I have some hard time to understand sometimes of the things and I feel like my rotations it works for me it might not work you know on paper that it's the best but it works for me when I play with my character uh, so I've never had any issues with it I, I don't fall behind with uh, damage or anything so I, I kind of like my own build so you know I'm, I'm always open up with my uh, uh, builds and I, I would like to improve myself as well. Um, yeah. Let's uh, switch tab. Let's see if it does change. I do apologize for the uh, slow loading. Uh, it's really early in the morning and uh, I have the game up as well in the background. And having a potato PC, it's not so helpful at all as well. So I do apologize for the downtime. Uh, let's see how fast this will load up for me. It's gonna be a long video, but yeah. So we have a build from AceCat that he wanted me to try out. It was updated or uploaded four hours ago. So yeah, I woke up four hours after your submission. Um, yeah, so for this build it showcases uh, that you don't have uh, Earthquake maxed out. I know there's gonna be people commenting already like don't do it, it's not worth it. I'm already open up for trying out things and you know showcasing things. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, one thing that I kind of dislike is that you've spent some points in Darkbreaker and um, yeah, it hasn't been maxed out. I know it doesn't have a huge impact in your build, I would guess, but I did notice you have a pattern here regarding um, Earthquake at 8 and Darkbreak at 8, so we'll try that out, see how that works. Hopefully it won't be too bad, but we'll see. Um, another thing I would like to bring up, uh, if you do drop by Lion Pokes uh, stream and you type exclamation mark builds, you are going to get some information about um, how he has different builds for different, you know, uh, situation and such. Uh, I'm going based off most of the stuff from him because I have some resources and, you know, he's been a Korean Maple Story veteran. Um, so I'm going based off his builds and I've tried out for myself with some of these. I tried to make, some, make a mix out of it to make my own personal build. So I'm not saying my build is the best, I'm just uploading them up and obviously everyone has different preferences. But yeah, let's go through Lion Pokes uh, builds and see how they go. So over here it says Dark Descent build. Uh, as you see here, main DPS is the Groundbreaker, aka Slam, and then your secondary is a spin. You don't want to take damage, so you are going to spin around the enemies to avoid that and then you Groundbreak them to uh, burst them down. Void Slash is on 1 for the um, for uh, for the mobility and then you have a lot of uh, blood price for some reason. I don't know why but you know you can ask Lion Poke drop by his stream uh, but uh, yeah he's more experienced than I am so I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, we do have Earthquake at 8 as the other build was mentioned from Ace Cats. Uh, so I would assume you're relying on the survivability and then, you know having that pop damage uh, happening now and then. Um, I'm not sure about intimidation at that point, but we'll see how that goes. 
Uh, another build over here is DPS build without void DPS. Uh, void only for utility, extra dash, combo with slam, etc. Recommended for Chaos Devorite and most general counter with sustain. Your main DPS is slam, your secondary is spin, you can combo using void, bloodlust, cross slash, etc. Blood price whenever it's up. So this is Lion Poke's general content or choice for general content that you do. Uh, as you can see, spin is at 10, uh, groundbreaker is at 10. You have the same layout as I had on my build. The only difference is um, he does not have Earthquake. And that's something I added up in my build. When you have the crit, uh, you have some bleed and you have some uh, blood pro uh, Earthquake every 60 seconds. But for him, he prefer having you know the minimalistic uh, with this build. So I can see that he maxed out the Bloodlust because it has a high damage and you life steal for yourself. This is also reliant to um, not having any priest in your party, for example. You know, blood uh, blood loss is actually really helpful. Uh, but he also has three on his blood price. So this is his, you know, build that he prefers. People might not like it. You know, you can follow whoever you want to. I can like it, in my opinion. Like, it's very minimalistic and I don't mind it. So I might give this a try uh, in the future. Um, and then we have another one, DPS build with Void slash DPS. Try to Void instead of Spin. This is also something that a lot of people have been commenting about in my YouTube section. Uh, you have your Spin apparently here, uh, that's your last resort. And you have Groundbreaker and your Void slash. Uh, so these two abilities are going to be your main and secondary abilities that you can rotate around. I find it quite rough. I I'm not used to this. But uh, this is what he showcased his build. You have blood price one, and then I know some of you might argue about, uh, well, you could just max out your mastery then instead of go with passives, because uh, passives are stronger than having a buff that's up for 30 seconds. You know, I'll leave it to you guys. I, I don't want to do the discussion about, you know, uh, what's better or what's not better. I'll just go with whatever that flows and what feels good for me. Um, so if you're a theory crafter, try out the build, try out with pure, you know, great soul mastery, try with, you know, cuts, uh, the deep wounds that, you know, gives you bleed or whatnot. Uh, but this is his build, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna mess with him, so. Uh, this is obviously a choice for him if you're fighting a stationary boss. So yes, you, some of you are correct when it comes to maximum damage. It's Void Slash and Groundbreaker together in a build. I'm not really good with it, so I'm gonna have to say no for me, but yeah, there's there. Um, max DPS build, less sustain, only if you want to use void as DPS, slam void as main, blah blah blah. So this is similar, uh, apparently you're spending less points though on uh, blood loss in comparison, and uh, you are gonna get higher blood price apparently, if I look at it correctly. So you are going to have uh, blood price upped and uh, you don't have to rely too much on your... Uh, I mean, you're, you're going to have your blood price up and your blood loss is down a little bit. You have your uh, graceful mastery up even higher. So there's a build for that as well if you want to have max DPS as you mentioned or most of the comments I've been talking about. And this is obviously for stationary boss first clear or whatever uh, if you want to go ham with your damage. Um, for PvP build, blood price at 30%. Uh, this was recommended for uh, that I looked up before on Lion, Lion Pokes PvP build. Uh, he says that yeah, use your blood price when you're at 30% health because that's when you have the maximum value out of it. Um, because you don't want to lose health, uh, you do have higher health pool when you are in PvP. So using blood price at 30% health will usually uh, I think it might be also for enemy 30% health or your own, I don't know, that's a little bit unclear. But it, you know, you have the potential of bursting down an enemy with blood price. Um, yeah. So spin is the least valuable thing that you want to have. It's required to have 3, to have groundbreaker at 10. Uh, you have void slash at max because that's a good way to initiate hits or jump attack with it. Uh, to you know poke the enemy. Really good skill. Blood loss at 10 because you need the maximum life drain for PvP. 
you have points in human journals as I mentioned it's helpful when you are really low on health and you try to do clutch moments then survivability is more important than having raw damage and you also need to dodge you need to you know it has a lot of factors to PvP um, and then you can see he spent points into minimal on weapon mastery he went intimidation for the extra slow uh, on the movement speed and uh, obviously depleting enemies spirit and you can also stun uh, with the intimidation and then you have earthquake to uh, stun the enemy as well with some extra damage into it so this is his pvp build and uh, you can go around and you know mess with it yourself um but yeah i'm gonna go with this if if i'm gonna have to rely on a korean player uh so um and then we have the last one i believe Yes, last one. Max DPS build without Void. So this is the max DPS without, uh, according to him, uh, but it's a Slion's uh, choice for first clear. You are doing max DPS without Void Slash, so you are using the Spin, you're using the Groundbreaker. Um, you have the blood price up really high. He doesn't go with uh, Earthquake or anything, because I believe the boss will move around a lot. And during that time of one minute of Earthquake, you can use twice of the uh, uh, blood price so I would say this is probably gonna be my build in the end when it comes to uh, chaos devil rack for example or any chaos raids um, I could also fiddle around and try out with uh, with the other builds as well that's mentioned above but yeah feel free I will link this in the description uh, down below you are gonna see the different builds that lions uh, lion poke has uh, credits to him, you know, uh, appreciate that he has this shared in his stream so that you guys can try different builds out. Uh, I am gonna, you know, try out your builds out as well, but I feel like it's, I'm gonna make it to another video uh, for everyone else to watch and see how they work. Uh, and as for last um, notes from Lion Poke, he does not use macro, not recommended for Berserker, try to do everything manually. And uh, combo definition, use cross slash as dash. You can use void and blood loss in between your slams so you can get 40 spirit back to use more slam. Jumping is also useful if you want to reposition yourself, so remember that. And then here's his little memo he likes builds with 10 blood loss because healing, uh, otherwise, he would uh, not use those 10 blood loss builds if you want to try hard and. Uh, go for the first clear or you know push the limit with the uh, blood price build that's his notes of his builds but yeah thank you very much for watching this video uh, I know it's been a very long video it's 33 minutes it's gonna be a little more of a blah 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 moment um, so yeah I'm gonna make another video regarding the builds that I'm gonna test out so stay tuned for that I appreciate that you guys have been listening to this um, I know my builds is not the most optimal uh, or you know the best, but I am having a mix of you know in between the comments, in between uh, uh, lion lion pokes build and such. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see what happens uh, if I'll update or not. It's up to you if you want to go with certain builds. Like I said, uh, but yeah. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.